I'm Alexander, and you might be wondering why we have all these treats here. Hi, I'm Victoria, and today we're going to pretend that we're Swedish. Why Swedish? Because we Swedish have a tradition called fika. What's fika? Well, fika is basically law protected. What it is, is 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. is incidents were happening in Swedish factories. So basically what happened was they brought in fika to reduce the incidents happening. When, was, when did they bring in fika? I, it was in the 1900s, I think. And from now on, it's still there. They use, they drink coffee and cake break. They do coffee and cake breaks in that time. Well, but we're kids, so we can't have coffee. So we're going to do apple juice, smoothies. And maybe hot chocolate, if you want. Whatever you want to do. Yeah, we've got a few foods here. We've got cinnamon buns, which are basically the tradition to eat. We've got a cake at the front. We've got some fruit, some nuts, some dates, pineapple cakes, probably my favourite, and nuts and almonds things. So, and smoothies. So, yeah, let's go home with our fika. The Sweden tradition is we have seven different types of cakes. Let me count. One, two, three, four. Oh, oh. it doesn't matter. Fika is not, about eat, not just about eating. It's about spending time with friends and family, bonding and sharing memories over the weeks. And it's basically relaxing, slowing down and just basically chatting. You can do it anywhere in the park, at home, maybe in school. Maybe. Maybe. Well, it's really amazing, but it's not just about eating, like I said before. It's time where you can say like your favourite book, what you've done over the past week, what you like, what you want to improve. Basically anything like that. Yay! <laughs> uh, what about funny jokes? Go on then. Um, why, why, are oyster, why do oysters uh, uh, donate to charity? I don't know. Because they're shellfish. <laughs> Good one. I think I watched this movie called Coco. Have you watched it yet? No. It's about the Day of the Dead and it's set in Mexico. What's the Day of the Dead? That sounds interesting. Well, it's basically they have amazing skull decorations and it's so amazing. So many different traditions around the world. I should a million percent watch that movie. Defo, I just realised every different country has different traditions. Like when we go to our auntie in, Ch in China, she has 10 different fresh dishes ready for us. So nice and yummy. Exactly. It's like the world is a museum with a variety of different treasures from all around the world. Like each culture has something unique like Italian pizza, French wine, Russian ballet, African drumming, and Brazilian carnival. The world is full of different amazing things, like what food people eat, the stories they tell, and the clothes they wear, the festivals they celebrate. Wow, so fascinating. I want to see them all. Where do you get to see them from? Well, read books, travel, and go to museums. That's basically where you can see them all. You have to make friends too. But don't you feel a bit shy when you have to do that? Well, everybody feels shy at first. But the more culture they have, the more inspiring they are. Amazing. Back to Fika. Okay, well back to Fika. It's a Swedish tradition that you eat the most less fanciest cookie at the start and you eat the most fanciest at the end. Not too late now, let's start. Bye, Bye for now. Bye. Keep learning, keep having fun, and be creative. Bye. Mm.